Welcome to Chive HQ. Competition's in the air, and we've assembled some of the greatest Hooters ambassadors from across the country to compete against some Chive employees who are available this afternoon. It's time for the Hoots and Hoops Madness Challenge. Today's competition features three challenges in a bracket elimination. For round one, our contestants are gonna be split into pairs of two and put the ball between their backs. Then they're gonna grab some delicious beer and make their way carefully over to our happy, lovely couple to give them the beer. Then they drop the ball in the bucket. It sounds simple, right? The fastest two times. Go on to the next round. Team Hooters walked in like they owned the place. They had the home field disadvantage, but they were here to play. <laughs> what? What? There's nothing in the rules. I expected it to be in an office, but I also didn't get very many details. So we kind of just walked in and I had no idea what was gonna happen. I'm gonna mop the floor with these girls. Oh. Squat. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> and three, two. Since I had no referee experience, my strategy was blow the whistle act with authority, and always be close to the action. Some would say I got too close. <laughs> so Joe being in my face didn't really affect me too hard, although I could smell the strong fumes of coffee and beef jerky. But at the end of the day, I'm here to win, so I was focused elsewhere. <laughs> go, go, go. Wait, you use my shoulder blade. Oh, oh wait. Okay, that didn't wait. Come on, Joe. I was most worried about my tickles popping out of these shorts. <laughs> One, two, three. It's a different ball. Three, two, one. Joe being the referee made me nervous. Oh, we gotta get closer. I wasn't picked to be referee because of my referee skills, but I did fit into the uniform. Oh, we're <laughs> good, we're good, okay. okay. So is the $100,000 prize, is that before or after taxes? I may have told her that the prize money is about 100 k I'm in trouble, huh? Hey, get over here. Oh. I don't know, did you, were you keeping time? Three, two, one. Calendar pose. So Calendar Pose is uh, accompanied by a smile as well as a lot of art. Step, slide, step, slide. So Scarlett and I went last in the competition and our strategy was, you know, like making sure that we were arched properly, like elbows were a big key in, in it. <laughs> Blocking out Joe came pretty naturally. Ready? Yes! Whoa! Whoa! Well done, teams. You have some very satisfied customers behind us. Team Chive, you served valiantly, but there can only be two people going on to the next round to represent your team. With a time of 28 seconds after penalties. Elizabeth and Manny are going on. Yes! Which means, Abra, Cam, you're losers. How does it feel? You know, I just went out there and did my best. Uh, I like to thank my family and my friends, and I'm going to- Hooters. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go- Hooters. Too. I wasn't so much sad to be eliminated so quickly, more like depressed. Team Hooters. You also served valiantly and with great customer service. Moving on to round two to represent Team Hooters is Scarlett and Cassidy. Oh, my God. Uh, mm, okay, we're being polite, but how do we feel inside? 
It's not about winning. It's about the friends you make along the way. I wish we could have sent all these people home and just kept Team Hooters. But what's done is done. Let's go on to round two. Contestants, congratulations. Welcome to round two. Oh no. For round two, the contestants will become mid-air models in our slam dunk contest. Their photos will be judged on athleticism, grace, and beauty. You know, we were supposed to be at a gymnasium initially, but we settled on the office because someone's not allowed within 100 feet of a schoolyard. The foam pit felt not as foamy as I thought it would. <laughs> and it kind of smelled in there. <laughs> I mean, when I jumped, I almost died. I went full time. Contestants, the judges have selected your best photograph. And um, they're over there. Do they look familiar? Say hello, judges. Yay! <laughs> Elizabeth, are you ready? I'm nervous, Joe. Let's see Elizabeth's face. Oh, no. It's about, no, it's worse than I expected. <laughs> How do you feel after looking at this? Like I should really work on my facial expressions in the mirror tonight. Elizabeth, let's hear what the judges have to say. Can use bigger bounce, I think. Uh, for me, it looks like she crumbled halfway into a pose that she was attempting and then gave up halfway. Elizabeth, thank you and good luck. Okay, Annie, please. Manny, how do you feel? I feel pretty good. Okay. Well, let's see your best photo. Mm. Come on, Joe. This is perfection. Look at the style. Look at the grace. Look at the athleticism on display. Well, let's see what the judges have to say. The facial expression is a bit off, but I mean, look at that big bounce. I think it's a, it's a much bigger bounce, much better than the first one, that's for sure. Manny, thank you. Yeah, thanks, Joe. Cassidy, how do you feel? Um, well, I'm just hoping it looks graceful. Well, let's see if it paid off. Here's your best photo. Wow. I don't hate it. I think you should be a basketball magazine. Well, when you find it, will you send me a copy? <laughs> I'm going to print it in my basement. If you need a restraining order, I know a good guy. Um, let's see what the judges have to say. I do. I really like this photo. I think it's got great balance in the hair. Can't really get any bigger than that. She's got, you know, a little bit of arch in the back. You know, we could always appreciate that. For me, this is a 10 out of 10 because this looks like a shampoo commercial. It looks like it almost is photoshopped. It's so good. Cassidy, thank you. Good job. I know we're not supposed to choose favorites, but did you see that? I did. I did, yeah. And let's see how you did in the competition. It's good, right? What, what were you going for in this pose? Evidently, real eye of the tiger. Let's see what the judges have to say. Judges. This Hooter girl right here has one of the biggest bounces of them all. I love the confidence. I love the the sass. I mean, the 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 grip strength on the basketball alone is impressive. Any bigger of a bounce would have been double digits. Scarlet, good luck. And good luck to you. Oh, with what? Uh, your ref career. Thank you so much. Contestants, the results are in. Representing Team Chive in the finals is... 
Manny. And representing Team Hooters for Team Hooters in the final is Cassidy. The final round just after this. Big beers, bigger bounce, served here. Our final challenge is simple. Each contestant gets three shots. Whoever makes the most is the Hoots and Hoops champion. Chance to take the lead. If Manny blows it, the chive loses. It all comes down to this. It's Cassidy's final shot. If she makes it, Team Hooters wins. If she misses, it's a tie, and we didn't plan out what would happen if there was a tie. So let's see how she does. <laughs> Congratulations, Cassidy, you won. What do you want to say to the people at home? Follow your dreams. Anything is possible. <laughs> yeah, so I played for like roughly 10, 12 years. I was a, also a basketball star growing up. <laughs> Sometimes this is the only thing keeping me going. Oh, oh perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you ready? Yeah. Die, me cago en la madre! What are your final thoughts? Here today, gone tomorrow. Oh, okay. <laughs>